I mean, people know that Harriet carried a pistol, but um, looking at it from this area, custom, white public sentiment, and local laws militated against black folks legally obtaining firearms. They, they weren't going to have that. If you look at the, the D.C. Charter of 1827, it 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 barely wants to tolerate us in the city. It barely wants to give free blacks what little bit of rights they have. So they, they're not going to come out and say, yeah, it's all right for y'all to have a gun. No, this is seen as an extension of, let's take a look at the Second Amendment, the, the right to keep and bear arms. Well, early lawmakers tied in the right to keep and bear arms with citizenship. All you have to do is read the Dred Scott decision to understand that we had no rights that whites were bound to respect. So we we legally wasn't going to happen. That that was not going to happen. And in Virginia, we can trace that back, that concern about blacks and weapons back to the 1600s. So that was already, again, custom, law, public sentiment, long before there was a Washington, D.C. That, that just wasn't going to happen. And, and there are people who believe that the Second Amendment, after the near extermination of Native Americans, uh, was kept on the books because they were constantly concerned about uprisings, rebellions by enslaved Africans.